today I went to the Humane Society here on Saipan to drop off a donation on behalf of Fabian Indalesio and also two of my recent uh, tour clients, Barbara and Jim Foster. And at the same time that I was there, Yumi Brundage, uh, animal lover, friend and uh, staff member, happened to step out of the operating room. She saw me and invited me in to meet the visiting doctor who was performing an operation. So uh, this was an unplanned interview, gives you a little insight into the situation here on Saipan and where your um, donations go if you support the Humane Society. A link is in the description. So we're here at the Humane Society. And an operation is being performed. Can I come this way? That's all right. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. This is this is good enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Already and, you can't say anything. You can go there. And you, can you tell us what's going on right now? Uh, now is a female dog, mm -hmm. Spain. Okay. Yeah. And who is performing the operation? Uh, Doctor Collins. Uh, she's a volunteer vet from Costa Rica okay. to come long way. Uh, this is her uh, third time? Yeah, right? second time here. Oh, okay. Sometime, yeah, and so how long do you stay when you come? When I come out here, I try to stay for four to six weeks at a time. Okay. So that way we can do lots of good help on that island. We know that veterinarians can't come out here very often. And so um, because it takes so long for me to get here, I like to be here for a long period of time to okay. really help the community. Excellent, excellent. So how much longer do you have? For this if, trip? Yeah, yeah I'm going to be here for another two weeks. I've okay. been out here already for almost one month. Wow. Um, I was on Guam during the typhoon, so that changed things a little bit for us. Yeah. I know you weren't prepared for an interview, but how, yeah. ma how many uh, spays and neuters do you do? Uh, oh. in, in two months. In two months, my goodness. Well, it depends on the community and where I'm at. Mm -hmm. Here on Saipan, we actually are able to do several hundred a month. Me okay. personally, wow. I usually only do between 10 and 15 per day. Per day. Um, <laughs> so I'm still probably doing maybe 200 a month if mm -hmm. I can. Uh, but it really depends on the type of surgery and uh, the patient. So spays and neuters are more routine surgeries, so they're easier to do. Um, but I do some things like mass removals and even leg amputations where needed, um, and those take longer, so I can't do as many of those surgeries at a time. Excellent, excellent. Uh, this time, the, a lot of emergency surgery came, and uh, uh, one day came the cat mm -hmm. uh, need amputation, she helped, and the one dog chopped the uh, Tail, mm -hmm. so have to amputation. Mm -hmm. Tail amputation. She did X-ray. Yeah, um. One of our amputations came in yesterday for a post-op exam. Two weeks after surgery, and everything is looking wonderful. Um, our animals can actually do very well mm -hmm. with just three legs whenever they have chronic injuries. Thank you, Ms. Amy. And two things. One, yeah. what would be your request or advice to the community mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the uh, dog and cat situation here anything yes. that you notice that you'd like people to do more or less of yeah absolutely so i know here on the island we do have lots of animals mm -hmm. and it's actually a, a problem on lots of islands not just saipan and not just in the, the commonwealth of the mariana islands mm -hmm. but in the caribbean we see this a lot we see this in a lot of developing nations and so what I like to tell owners is that um, we can just be responsible pet owners for our own criteria. I think that really helps. And I think that we also need to prioritize spaying and neutering. Okay. So the procedure I'm doing right now is to help her not have any more babies. And this animal has already had probably at least two or three litters. Mm -hmm. She's currently in heat, which means she's ready to make more babies. Mm -hmm. So if my oh, owners can you spay and neuter their pets, then I, I firmly believe that we can get ahead of this of this crisis with the dog issue. Mm -hmm. um, here on the island, we have about 20,000 wild dogs in the streets, which is a lot. Um, but if we could do a government-funded spay and neuter campaign, I think that would really help the, the animals that are owned, but also the animals that live on the streets. Okay, and Ruby was telling me that you actually don't get a lot of uh, donations. So how can people how can people help the 
uh, humane society if they wanted to. Absolutely. If they're off, if they're not on currently on an island. Yeah, if they're not on an island, but they want to help support a cause such as this, mm -hmm. they can always follow us on Instagram. Mm -hmm. They can also go to our website, and we have PayPal and other ways they can make donations. Okay. If they don't want to give money, but they want to give items, we're always looking for medical supplies. Mm -hmm. We're also looking for supplies just to help make the clinic more of a clinic and okay. less of, a, of an animal shelter. Um, so sometimes it's um, office supplies. Okay. But if somebody wants to become involved and they want to help with time, money, or items, they mm -hmm. can definitely reach out to us and we can let them know what we're needing at that time. And the Instagram account is for this uh uh, unit here, or it is, is it is. okay? Yes, great. for the uh, Saipan Humane okay. Society, and our goal is to right now we're working on Saipan, but we are hoping that we can reach out our services to the other islands and okay. the archipelago. I'll put a link to that in the description for Wonderful. anyone who's interested. Absolutely. Okay. And I have my own personal Instagram where I try to highlight the organizations that I work with. Okay. But I think if somebody really wants to be involved with one particular organization, mm -hmm. following them directly is probably best. For okay. You can also follow people like me who are helping them, but if you want to go straight to the cause, okay. then you can always find their work. And I'll get your uh, Instagram account as well. Fantastic. Cool, cool. All right, thank you very much. You are this welcome. will be on the Discover Saipan YouTube right. channel. Yay! So, and I'll let you know when, that, when that's yeah. up. <laughs> Sounds great. If you have any other questions or if you want to see any other procedures, this next one is also going to be a spay. All right. Um, I think I have spays left for the rest of the day and one more tail amputation. But that one might be after lunch right. just to give us some more time. Excellent. Thank you, Doctor. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> And for all your help uh, to the community, oh, 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 and oh, have a great, uh, have a nice flight back. <laughs> Thank you, <I laughs> you appreciate it. Are you going back to um, to Costa Rica? I will be going back okay. to Costa Rica. I'm I'm originally born and raised in Missouri, so the middle of the okay. United States. Uh, but I love doing conservation work. Mm -hmm. When I do health work, I look at the humans, the animals, and the ecosystem. So Costa Rica is a great place for me to do conservation so work. Heard, but here on Saipan actually is a wonderful place for me to also do that same work mm -hmm. because the animals, the ecosystem, and the humans are all involved with mm -hmm. the, the health crisis. Right. So the state of the animals and the ecosystem directly impacts the humans and vice versa. Okay. So I'd like to do more of that work here as well. Thank you. Yeah. I know you weren't planning to have an interview today, so I won't take up more any more of your time. Thanks Wonderful. again. You're welcome. Nice right. to meet you. Take care.